Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again today to give everyone a quick update on the electric jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1. Now again, before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be notified the second a jailbreak utility drops, and give this video a like if you appreciate these daily updates. The day is nearing guys, so brace yourself for a brand new jailbreak, and this one seems to be the major utility that most users will take advantage this time around. The community did a great job informing as many people as possible to stay on iOS 11.3.1 or lower, and with the extended signing window, a lot of users were able to downgrade to it just in the nick of time. But if you happen to see this video at this point in time and want to jailbreak and you miss the signing window to downgrade, it is still actually possible to downgrade to a soon to be jailbreakable firmware being iOS 11.3, beta 5, and beta 6. Now I just restored my iPhone 6 just about an hour ago before recording this video, so the signing window is still open, so that is great news. Alright, well on to today's news. Now today we received quite a few small updates, not only from Coolstar himself being the main developer of the Electra Jailbreak, but also from pwn to own who is also working with Coolstar on the development of the Electra Jailbreak. So the awesome news guys is the Electra Jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1 is now fully complete, internally that is. There only needs to be a few stability improvements regarding the remount code as well as the VFS exploit. But this is just awesome news guys, we are so close to a public release the jailbreak could drop any day now. And it was great today to see some final touches being added. We now have our first look at the brand new Electra logo, not only for the application itself, but we also have a preview of the website. Now the website and the new logo have been created by the same designer being Alessandro Calariti. But of course, the final website will most likely contain download links and some update notes to accompany this design. But it's just great to see that this is being updated with a fresh new look. I really appreciate that Coolstar actually does this and makes the jailbreak utility actually enjoyable to look at and open, unlike other utilities we've seen in the past. It's something minor, but it makes everything feel so much more professional, considering this was accomplished entirely by the developers within the jailbreak community. If the design looks anything like the last utility, it might actually look something like this. I just whipped this up quickly in Photoshop. Again, this probably will not be the final design, but I just quickly added the new Electra logos and changed this from iOS 11 to 11.3.1. Again, that compatibility is not confirmed. This is just a mock-up. But anyway, guys, that is just a quick look at what the jailbreak utility might look like when you open it on your iPhone. So not only do we have a new design today, but the developers are even giving us this ultimate tease. They're already testing tweaks on their jailbreak. Pwn to Own says Veneta and Classic Folders both work on iOS 11.3.1. Again, like I discussed in my last video, there is only going to be one final copy of the Electra jailbreak. There's not going to be a developer or any public betas, only the final release. So avoid any who claim to have a beta copy of the Electra jailbreak. Again, this was tweeted out earlier today, basically notifying us that any leaked build is either fake or malware. Coolstar, Nullpixel, and I, being pwned to own, own the actual jailbreak. No one else does. There's no beta testing program or such. So basically, guys, we're almost there. Just hang in there. Any of the fake jailbreaks that are out there can seriously mess up your iOS file system and can very easily force you into restoring. Lastly, I want to share with you guys, I thought it was awesome that pwn to own is adding a digital rights management service to block any modifications done to the official Electra app, such as adding ads, which a lot of sites are known to do. Now, sites will still be able to host said jailbreak utility, they just won't be able to modify or add their intrusive ads on top of it. Anyway guys, the day is almost here, the Electra app is 99% complete and the finishing touches are being made, so stay tuned for future updates and again, don't forget to subscribe to be notified when the jailbreak is released. Also, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of the new logo and website design or if you prefer the older one. Now, I really actually enjoy the new website refresh, but I almost like the simplicity of the older original logo. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.